Hello there, I'm Barry Robinson for Scarborough TV News. We're out and about and our journey has taken us to fabulous Filey, where I'm with Ian Hola, who is the boss of the Filey Bird Garden and Animal Park. Now, how long has it been going? Well, this is our eighth season now, Barry, so we've, uh, we, we've been going that long. Um, it keeps improving every year and, and growing a bit and, and getting a few more visitors around every year. Um, but that's where we are now. So when we go around it, what are we going to see? Well, you'll see a variety of animals. There's one or two sort of domestic type um, animals, that are ducks and chickens and goats and ponies and donkeys. And then there are also one or two more exotic birds and such like in the aviaries um, and, and free flying doves around the, around the park. So what gave you the idea to have loads of birds and animals? Well, we'd always, from, uh, f for, from as long as we've been uh, sort of married, we've always had animals and such like and birds in the, in, in the gardens. And then when we moved here, we always decided that we'd like to do something, uh, a business for my wife. And, and we'd all, when we went to visit sort of with our children in, on holidays and such like, we always used to go around uh, this type of attraction. We thought something like this would be ideal. Ian, what's new? Well, we've had one or two new developments in the park and in, in, in the wildlife areas. Uh, this last year we've uh, uh, um, developed um, a viewing pond for, so you can see wildlife, pond life and such like under, underwater. Uh, and that's part of our plans. One of our main things here is also the wildlife that you can see around the park. Uh, and there's quite a lot of information boards of various bits and pieces that you can see, newts and frogs and, and toads and such like. So there's plenty to see. Ian, I'm going to say budgerigars. They're lovely, aren't they? They're always active are the budgerigars. They're from Australia. Very many colours now. In, in Australia they're all green, uh, but then they've been developed over the years for different colours and such like different um, that you'll see now. And, and the lovebirds here as well, they're, many, they're from Africa. Uh, and again, we've got three or four pairs in here uh, and they breed quite happily. Well, we've come through the secret garden where the budgies were and we've come through a gate and here we are at this pond. And you've made this pond yourself. Yes, we did. Yes, we're onto the decked area of the wildlife pond. Uh, when we first moved here about nine years ago, uh, we had this dug out, a uh, big pond liner put in. Um, and over the years, it's, it's developed for the wildlife. Uh, we've got a little island there for the ducks to, to, uh, to breed on. And this year they've had probably two broods of ducklings uh, and there's an awful lot of moorhens as well and I think there's been at least 12 or 13 moorhens chicks bo uh, born, uh, hatched this year. Do you ever get any visiting wildlife? Yes we do, yeah, wildlife ducks uh, sometimes on a morning in the winter you come down and there may be some geese on the pond, uh, herons obviously come down occasionally as well, uh, so yes we get quite a, little, quite a lot in here. So what lives in the pond? There's nothing actually, there are no fish in the pond at all, uh, but there are newts, great crested newts, uh, there are frogs, toads around the margins, etc. Uh, a lot of water beetles, a lot of wildlife in the pond here. Ian, we've just come down to the guinea pigs. They are beautiful. They are, they're a lo lovely mixture of colours and such yeah. like. They're really friendly, make a lovely sound when they're squeaking away there. Um, they're, they're very popular, everybody likes to see those. So where did you find these? Well, most of them. Some of them have come from rescue places. Um, uh, others that we've 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 had again quite a few years some of them um, but the certainly the cream one that was donated to us um, and uh, and one or two of the others as well that cream one is a beautiful looking creature he is he is a lovely well it's a she they're all females yeah so they're all females Ian what have we got here well these are our donkeys Jacob and Isaac these have been here for eight years now uh, they came from Wales. They were quite poor condition when they first came, uh, but they've, uh, we've looked after them and they've, they've come back and they're, in lovely, uh, they're, they're lovely chaps. They're so very friendly. Isaac is the white one, Jacob is the dark That's one. That's correct, yes it yeah. is. Yeah. And we've seen some ponies as well. Yes, the miniature Shetlands that we have. Um, they're uh, Pippin and, and Domino. Um, and again, they've been here and in, in winter, for quite a few years. And in winter, they all live together in one paddock. Ian, how big is the garden? Well, the whole site is about five acres. Uh, that includes the car park and such like. So there's a fair amount, plenty of grass to keep cut. I love the alpacas. Yes, uh, again, they're, uh, they've been here for, for quite a few years. Um, the, they're, they're, they're fascinating to watch. They're quite aloof. They don't come across too often to, to see you. Uh, but it's fascinating to watch them being sheared. Uh, and, and all the, the fibre taken off and such like. They need shearing every year. And we have a chap comes from the Lake District to come and do those. So where do they come from? 
they're South American, um, sort of in the in the Andes and around that sort of area. Ian, this is a wonderful place. I'm pleased you've enjoyed it, Barry. Well, thank you very much indeed for inviting us round, but how do people find us? Well, you follow the brown signs, the tourist signs on the main road. Uh, we're on the main road into Filey. Um, you can find us on our website, www.fileybirdgarden.com or ring us 01723 514439. Well, Ian, once again, thank you very much. It is superb. What a hidden gem. I'm Barry Robinson, out and about for Scarborough TV News.